Hello and welcome to Small Gold's American Gold Buffalo sales update for the month of March 2017. American Gold Buffalo sales jumped 21% in March year over year. March sales of American Gold Buffalo coins were up 21% from last year. The U.S. Mint sold 8,500 of these 24 karat one ounce gold coins in March, which, while it's up from Last year's March is really no big deal, 8,500 one ounce American Gold Buffalo coins sold. And if you take the American Gold Buffalo coins sold in March and you add them up with the American Gold Eagle sales of all types, the one ounce, the quarter ounce, the half ounce, and the tenth ounce, and the U.S. Mint sold a whopping 29,500 ounces of gold. Not very much. Um, Again, we've been asking the question, why are the sales down in um, in March for the American Silver Eagles and the American Gold Eagles? And interestingly enough, as we've talked about, the price of gold and silver have risen. So you can see there's absolutely no impact at all on the sales of American Gold or Silver Eagles or Buffaloes on the price of gold. It's basically re sometimes reflective of price. In other words, if the price goes down, you may see people stocking up on gold or silver eagles, but uh, that doesn't move the price higher. And we've also seen cases where, like now, they just stop selling them and there's really no explanation for it. The price hasn't risen dramatically, hasn't fallen dramatically. And we've put a poll out there. We haven't got any one definitive answer. The best answer so far has got 30%. And that's basically that um, people are disappointed with the price action lately. And so lack of interest, perhaps, I don't know. Um, but there doesn't seem to be any clear cut reason. And by the way, the April numbers so far, the first four days are not very good. Um, so we'll see how we proceed. Now, there could be a silver lining in this. It could make these coins in the future years worth more because if they make fewer of them then it's a rare date year but I wouldn't put much faith in that in any event let's go through our charts now remember you can always see these charts better on the small gold site and given everything that's happening with uh, Google YouTube demonetization you now the next thing they might do with with this demonetization of some of these sites people are doing the patreon or they're trying to get people to donate otherwise well you know if if YouTube decides they don't want these people on the including my own channel I'm not calling them these people but let's say YouTube doesn't want the channels content anymore they figure it's not advertiser friendly well if it's not advertiser friendly why would they want to give away free server space and allow someone a channel to be on there not making any money whatsoever for Google probably in their mind damaging their brand in front of the advertisers so they can make money it wouldn't make any sense so I think the next step is going to be that people will get comfortable they'll start getting their patreon and then Google will probably say well you know what you want to be on here maybe you have to pay to be on here or why don't you just take a hike so the reason I mention all this is it's always better to be subscribed to these channels. Yes, it makes sense to support them as well, um, but also to subscribe. I did put up a Patreon. I think I can show it to you over here. Yeah, if you haven't seen this, I did it kind of tongue in cheek. You can join and uh, help Small Gold uh, and stop this. <laughs> wealth inequality amongst the YouTube channels, given that I have a much smaller audience and that other channels are going to make more money than me. I put out a, a call saying it's unfair and morally wrong that other people should make more money just because they have larger audiences. And you can sign up and try to rectify that injustice on Patreon. All right, back to our Gold Buffalo. So really the plea is donate if you can, but if you can't, best thing to do is to subscribe to small gold it's free you have your email you have direct contact so whatever happens to the channel you'll always be able to pick up on the latest gold and silver news through small gold there's always going to be a way to have a platform it may just not be on google 
there may be other video programs or other charting programs, whatever. But right now I have a site. I've paid for it for a few years. So this is where I will have the content. And you can see the charts. Let's look at the charts here. There's your gold buffalo coin. Now March sales, 8,500. As I said, no big shakes. This coin doesn't sell that much anyway. It only sells about 200,000 a year anyway. But even though it was up from last year, you can see it's still the worst, second worst out of the last seven years. So the American Buffalo coin got hit as well in March with sales. Uh, normally the Gold Eagle one ounce coin outsells the Gold Buffalo coin by three or four to one. Uh, this year it's about the same. It's about three to one. It was about four to one in January, 1.4 to one in February. And it was almost two to one in March. But uh, it's not much of a sale there now you can see the gold buffalo sales as i mentioned they're always about 200,000 a year last year was 219 best year was 323 second best year was 239 this year it's 55 you know at this pace they'll probably get in the 200 range but um this coin hasn't really taken off it was supposed to be the answer to the other sovereign mint coins that were three nines uh, like the canadian gold maple leaf the australian australian Austrian uh, gold Philharmonic and the when the American Eagle came out it was uh, in 1986 and that was basically coming off the heels of a 22 carat coin which is what the American Gold Eagle is but that's also what the the world's best-selling coin at the time the South African Krugerang was so those two coins set the standard in the beginning for 22 carat and then later on other coins came out in 24 pure carat I think the Canadian Mint now makes a coin which is 5.9 so but the the Krugerang and the American Gold Eagle have copper in them I don't know if there's any silver in the the Krugerang but there is some silver in the American gold eagle here's a chart that i've been keeping lately which shows when you add the buffalo and the eagle sales what you get last year was a pretty good year it was one of the best years sixth highest ever you had 1.2 million total ounces of gold sold when you add the buffaloes and the eagles together but even so the u.s mint even though the gold eagle is the big deal the big seller on a grand scheme of things you know it's 1.2 million ounces it's not a tremendous amount of the gold demand coming through the american gold eagle now that's not the same for the american silver eagle the american silver eagle does take up you know in a good year if it does 40 million it does that's about five percent of the annual silver production so the silver eagle sales are a bigger deal i see flashing over here. get food insurance you know we do have besides you can buy gold and silver coins through small gold and you pay no more no less than if you visited the sites directly and it's not investment advice but and small gold gets a small commission i have to mention that but there's a bunch of um other um advertisers that we have on the site a couple of places you can check out wise company for emergency food there's sd bullion there's wise company again so there are other advertising opportunities they are um places where if you do buy through the click on the small gold site small gold gets a small commission so that's one way of we even have a gold you can open up a gold money account too uh on small gold and i think we even have an affiliate arrangement with um bullion vault as well and there's another there's buy emergency food so there's a couple of those offers where you can check them out and get your emergency food and help small gold out while you're helping yourself out you never know when you might need emergency food and of course there's a variety of different places where you can buy gold and silver now if you're interested in gold buffalo coins i'll put links below the video and then you can check out bgsc golden eagle coins and bully money metals exchange the advantage is you can also compare pricing and shipping before you buy and of course you can always donate to small gold or become a patreon or donate via paypal thank you very much for listening again check this out on smallgold.com you can see the charts a lot better thanks